I did not realize that I had matching nails to my shirt. I hate that. God. Um, let me just fix my... face. Um, hi, ew, I hate when people do that. Like, ew, that's disgusting. You know what I mean? Um, oh, hey guys. Okay, so I have like something to talk to you about that I'm like, just like, okay, you know what I mean? But like, I don't like too bad. And I brought it up on Twitter yesterday because, um, I, I do take things to heart that you guys say, like I kind of do. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of it, it's not like, I don't like a lot of the times you'll say th things that like, oh, physical, like, I don't care about that. But, like if you talk about things like, you know, you, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me tell you. I look very like, this is not how I want to look today. Um, I really like this actually it's Anastasia. They sent, uh, they sent me like some shit. This is the Hush Pink in um, the matte lipstick, and I love it. It's like the perfect 1970s matte, like, girl on the beach in, like, Italy. Do you see that? Do you see what I mean? Okay, so that's that. I really like this. I'm going to link it below. That one I love. Like, to be honest, I didn't really like anything else. That's why I wish they would, like, I don't want them to send, I hate when companies send, like, a lot of things, because what do you do with it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I give it away and stuff, but... Um, you know what I mean? I'd rather them like be like, what colors do you like? Do you know what I mean? Cause that, um, all right. So, Hey, all right. Um, I'm kind of like, just let me get into this. So you guys know, like I need a second to like group, regroup. I have a lot going on in my life right now. A lot of exciting, very exciting things. And like things that like I'm preparing for and I want to be able to, I can't wait to tell you guys a lot of it and like a lot of the story behind it and everything. Um, because, um, it's exciting. And like I told you so many times that when I want to do something, I do it. Like I don't meddle about it. Like it might take me a couple months, but it gets done. You know what I mean? Like, no. And I feel like that's, that's just how I am. Um, I want to play with my face because I just don't like love it right now. Okay. So I'm going to like talk to you guys. I don't care. Okay. So this is going to say, it's like you guys, someone left a comment. Actually, it wasn't someone. It's like two people. First of all, fuck you. Someone was like, and it was actually really funny. I like laughed my ass off, but fuck you. Okay. They were like, oh, I feel like I'm literally, um, like I don't like this light on my back. I fucking hate it, dude. I'm moving. I'm moving. Okay, I think this lighting is better. I just hate when there's like one like light like shining down on, on me. It's like, I just don't like it. It's like weird. Like, where's that light? I don't know. It just, it, to me, it's, it's like, it throws things off. Okay. So anyway, um, what I was saying is that first of all, um, this is naturally air dried hair, second day hair. This is, I don't love it. We, you know, it's like, it's like biker hair that we like. It's not perfect, but it's good. Like this is the, this is called this is called beachy waves in the best way possible. Like this is sick. I didn't do one thing to it other than wake up. This is how a beachy wave should look. It should look natural. Like it should look like you're not putting a fucking iron to it. If you're putting an iron to your face, like it is so 2000s. I can't explain it. Like it's so bad. Like you need to fucking stop. Like I, I, I mean, you know what I mean? If you're not blessed with like hair like this, that's not my fucking problem like figure it out but if you're taking a fucking iron to it in any way and curling it to try and achieve some sort of beachy wave it looks like shit okay now that we got that out of the way about my hair because people see this thing if i wouldn't have said anything about this people would have been like oh my god you see that beachy waves like see how they just don't get it like this is not fucking beachy waves you dumb shit like just stop you're irritating me already like you have i haven't even started class and you're already irritating me um, okay. But what happened is you guys are like some people, the thing is not when, when I get one, like, co like concern, criticism, like criticizing comment, I really like feels like it's hundred people saying it to me. I just feel like that. I don't know why. Um, so when you guys tell me things like, you know, so someone was like, it was funny. Cause I was like laughing my ass off. It was a really funny comment. Um, but it was like, fuck you. Okay. And they're like, oh, I'm really sick of like, oh, can I, I'm, can we like get out of the Bentley? I feel like we're like being held hostage in the Bentley or something like that. Or like we're being kidnapped in the Bentley again this, this week. 
bitch first of all fuck off like no offense this is the closest you'll ever get to a damn Bentley. So get the fuck out of my... Uh, don't stop with the criticisms. But then I'm, like, thinking, like, okay, um, like, maybe it's true. Like, what is this? Like, are you bored? Like, no, because you still watch. Maybe I'll watch no matter what. But you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not... You guys are dumb. And then people... I'm really... No, that comment is funny as fuck. But the one that is not funny as fuck is the one where you're, like... I wish you would go back and do the Korean mall places. Like, bitch, that is done. That is so over. Like... We're not going back to the fucking Korean malls. Like, it's fucking done. I already told you on Twitter yesterday. I was, like, annoyed by this. Because, first of all, the Korean malls, like, they're really disgusting, okay? I used to go because I did like to, like, get some makeup or whatever, some stupid shit. But they're all, like, the stores are all really bad, okay? There's homeless people everywhere. It's really dangerous to, like, even go around there anymore. Like, I'm not gonna, like, it's just gross. Like, it was gross before, but now it's, like, not cute gross. It's fucking gross, okay? So get off my dick about it. Like you guys are so, so stuck, like stuck in a damn rut. Like you won't move forward in life. It's like comments like, oh my God, she looks so different. I used to watch her 46 years ago and she's so different. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, so I looked different 10 years ago. Like really did. Oh, so you are an anomaly. You did not look different 10 years ago. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm just so sick of damn people. Okay. So Anyway, I, I don't, this is the thing, like, I do lists right now. This is what we're doing. This is, like, class. And when I don't want to do lists, I'll probably, be like, showing you guys should I buy or whatever. But, like, I don't shop. Like, there's nothing to shop, you guys. Like, I don't like designer shit. And I'm not going to, like, take you in to, like, a Chanel store where I don't want to even fucking go in the first place or whatever to buy a Chanel bag that I don't want to buy, but I had to buy because I have no bags. Like, I was forced to purchase this. Like, you guys know how I feel about this. I was forced to purchase it. I have nothing to wear. So it's like, I don't like designer things are disgusting. All the design, designer bags are gross. Like, the only designer bag that's socially acceptable that's like, not like, oh my God, look at me. Like, look at me, look at me. Like, I'm like a little nail lady is like a classic. Okay, that's the only thing. Even though I don't like them, I'm over them. We had no choice. So why would I go to like, it's like bringing you to the hardware store. Why would I bring you to a hardware store to show you that I'm buying something that's like a fucking, like an essential? Do you want me to bring you with me to Ralph's to buy water with you? Because that's the same thing as going to Chanel and buying a fucking classic bag. It's just a necessity. Like, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Stupid. I'm not going to take you guys shopping anymore. It's like, I don't shop. Like, I literally, okay, so I did go to like H&M yesterday or was it yesterday i forget whatever yeah or two days ago and like, i took pictures like i literally only bought those there's nothing sorry i had to stop and edit that out because i know said something that i'm probably gonna be flagged for i just took it down okay um anyway so what i was gonna say is um like no like i'm not i don't know what to do like when i took you guys i'm not gonna like take you sometimes i do take you to like h&m do the try on things but it's boring it's stupid like like it's just dumb like why am i gonna take you to h&m like, you can go to H&M by yourself. Like, it's stupid. You know what I mean? Like, big deal. You went to H&M. You know what I mean? Like, I know that you guys go to H&M and you shop in the women's section. I get it. You just don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, but, like, you, it's like, what am I going to take you? There's no shopping. Like, shopping is over. And, like, I'm not doing try-ons. Like, I'll do try-ons once in a while because like, I feel, like, in the mood. But like, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm going to sit here and fuck you up. That's what I want to do. And until I do some, until something else comes up in my mind that I want to do, this is what we're fucking doing. So I don't need you guys to say, I miss the days. I miss that. I miss this. Like, you miss what? You miss something that was a vibe 10 years ago that we used to do that we don't do anymore? Do you see what I mean? Unless you're going to give me actually, like, a, like unless you're going to, like, if you have a vibe, like, if you're cool and you, like, have a vibe and you're going to give me, like, like criticism that we can actually use here then don't fucking say something that you missed something from 10 years ago because i'm not there's a light in my hair again because there's a there's like it's just done like i hate when you guys bring up old old news like it's old news we're not going back there you know what i mean stupid you guys are so like stuck in a damn rut okay so um anyway what i was gonna say is like i told you like my life is like really fucking as always but like even more now it's like, I'm like fucking insanely busy. Okay. And I have like podcasts coming up and things like that. And like, why won't, I'm sorry, but like, why won't any like, um, left wing people bring me on their podcasts? Like, are you afraid of me? Yes, you are. You know, I'm going to fucking call you out for your damn clown world shit. Like why I'm open. Like, you know, I'm open to like do that. It's like only conservative people want to bring me on. Like, I don't get it. Like, why? Like, why don't, why are you like, why are you leftist? Like so scared of me? Like, let's have like, come on, let me come on, make fun of you. Like, let me tell you how it is. 
um because you're so dumb you know that i would like rip you you know that everyone would be like crickets because like everything i say like what i told dr phil it's common sense and he like had nothing to say back he had, like no rebuttal you know what i mean it's like that kind of thing but yeah i'm going on more um more podcasts which i'm excited about like one i'm doing because i like the people behind him like i don't really know who he is but i like like the group behind him um and the other one is a big podcaster so that will be fun and a lot of you guys follow him i'm sure like i don't necessarily even know these people i just like things that they say so i have followed them in the past look at that arch oh my god like these look like, see how gross i am like why isn't it like that and stuck like just why can't you just stay like why do you have to have ugly movements i have to like, be more in self-control about that like can we just not you know what i mean like wow ew that's gross stop okay um so um also what else so yeah i'm gonna do doing that and then i really want to show you guys i really want to okay so i was like telling you that like i when i get something on my mind i get something on my mind i do it like i told you guys if i, I had my t like i got like fake boobs and then like literally like I hated them and I had them in out like a year later. You guys would live, you guys have left your tits in for 30 years and hated them. Like, you're a loser. Do you see what I mean? Like, get them out. Like, what are you doing? Why are you being miserable? Get them out, for example. Like, there's so many things. Like, why do you guys sit around just meddling over shit? Just do it. Get it done. So, that's how, that's how I am in my life. When I made a decision, I've made a decision and I do it. Like, I just get it done and I fix, I fix like that problem in my life. Okay. So, my hair looks kind of gross right now because it's like air dried so it's just supposed to be like gross you know what i mean it's like it's like that it's supposed to be like gross see what i mean like it's cute and it's just it, it looks like very you see what i mean like i look very model off duty don't come for me about how my hair looks dry because it doesn't look dry this is very healthy hair but you're gonna tell me it's not even though it is Sh shut your fucking mouth okay so that um and um so yeah i'm like okay i really want to tell you guys something but i can't you know i want to tell you everything that the, like the, i want to tell you what brought me to the decision i want to tell you like what i want to tell you everything like so many like see i'm not like i you guys are foolish see what I mean? there's a lot of you guys who are very foolish out there i'm not a fool like i'm not gonna be dumbass you know what i mean so anyway um i really want to share with you guys i can't right now there's like a, there's many things okay that and like the office so um the office i can be more like i just want i can talk about more because i want to um but so the office you guys know i'm moving the office from downtown la but it's really hard like it's really hard finding a fucking vibe in orange county like orange county is dead you know what I mean? orange county sucks like orange county is stupid orange county like is so like I hate, la is disgusting and like la is like losers and gross and dirty and crime ridden and filthy and woke as fuck and losers you know what i mean but la it but orange county is dumb okay orange county has no vibe like you know what i mean it's dumb um uh, it's very boring it's very cookie cutter i like that's another reason i'm very angry just in general well you know what i mean it's because i chose to leave orange county i chose to start my life in la i grew up in orange county i never wanted to come back here again i don't like it like i don't like it i don't like anything here i don't like it stupid i don't like the beach you know what i mean like orange county is beach like i hate everyone here dresses like beach you know what i mean like i just hate it like i don't i don't like anyone here i don't like how you dress i don't like you you're i don't like your vibe like you I see you and you cringe me out. Do you know what I mean? There's no one cool here. I am the only one here who is like, who is cool. You do know what I mean? That's yes, you do. I don't want any friends. Like the thought of like having a friend here, I just would never, I would never have friends anywhere, but like I would never have friends period. But then like I see people here, I'm like, it just solidifies even more not wanting to have any friends. <sighs> I like, you know what I mean? Okay. So for me, I've, I've finally settled on the street. Like I'm that, I'm that picky. That's why I have not moved yet because there's nothing available in this street that I want. There's only one street that I will even take. Like that's how sick I am with how particular I am, but it's not even that. Like actually there's nothing to choose from. I'm not going to fucking put my, my life, HRH, what I've grown my business where I want to be every day, every minute of my life in a fucking like commercial building or like you know what i mean like in a commercial like in a one of those like typical orange county cubicle like carpeted fluorescent ceiling light lit offices excuse me now okay so like but there's no like cool industrial places there's nothing you know what i mean like so i found one area that i like but the street is so small like it's so crazy like i'm never gonna find anything it's over like i'm not but i'm literally like we're looking every single day like if something did pop up the other day 
but it was like huge. It was like fucking 4,000 square feet. I don't need 4,000 square feet. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't want that. I just, what I want is there, but like why? And the thing is too, like I went and saw the street and I'm like, why are these people here? Like they're the dumbest businesses, like little woke businesses. Get the fuck out. You know, you're like, I don't even know. It's like, you're not making any money here. Like your fucking mom or your dad is supporting your ass. I was like, it's fucking like stupid shit. Like there's no way making a fucking dime here. Like just fucking quit now so I can have your space. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting on this. There's no other area. This is the area I've decided on. Like, and I have to be, um, like, I have to be, did you see that? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, honestly, I'm really pissing myself the fuck off with that. Um, I really, um, um, like I have to be, and I want to be like, I like number one on the list really is like making sure that like Judy and the other person who we work with, like, it's not too far. If it was my choice and I was by myself, I would probably choose like a little place in Laguna. That's what I would do. I would probably choose like a little older, like a bungalow or something in Laguna, that's what I would choose, but it's just too far for them. And I don't want to inconvenience them. I want everyone to like be excited and be like on board and be happy. Like, obviously that's, I don't want unhappy people around me or I wouldn't want to make people who I care about unhappy. So, um, anyway, that's like another thing, but also, um, did you guys see that photo I posted, um, on, on what's it called? On, um, the H&M photo though. So, do you see my face? Like, well, that lighting was like really good. But I just not okay, it's like not, not the best now. But see how pretty I look in those photos. I didn't even touch those photos. So anyone like in my last video, like people are telling me I'm ugly. Yeah, I'm ugly. I'm so ugly. Okay, okay. Anyway. Um, I love those photos of me so much. I like to take it down. It's like, oh my god, like HM is like really good lighting. Like, oh my god, yes. Okay. Um, so anyway, I have a list. That wasn't even the list. That was just like my intro. I know too long. Okay. But last week, like the 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 video was really short, and you guys were like, it's too short. So yeah, I know you like my long videos. I'm, I'm assuming you like my long videos. And no, I'm not taking you shopping. Like, we don't, there's nothing to shop for, you guys. Like, I'm not going to walk around a mall, like, with a fucking camera. Like, I don't get it. Like, doing what? Like, I don't shop. Like, I really am, like, I have nothing to do with my life. Like, I have nothing to do with my life. Like, I, I have nothing to do. I'm, like, waiting on things. You know what I mean? So I can, like, start my life again. <sighs> okay. Um. I got my hair done. Okay, stop. So I also have like new jewelry to show you. Let me show you this one. I love this. So I have like new designs I launched and I'm just going to, I'm not going to tell you everything at once. I'm going to split it up. So I want to talk about this one first. I love it. Um, and okay. Do you guys, so you guys know, I love like concept pieces. I love pieces that like are just more than just a necklace or something. They do something. Oh, they do something, but they're like multi, multi-functional or they serve different purposes. Okay. So, um, you guys remember like day one, I'm going to bring it up again. I, I already talked to this on, on, on Insta, but I don't talk about it again. I had this, um, this necklace called the tray chic and um it did it you could wear it three different ways and it was do you guys remember my big cuff necklaces i used to make like the big massive like hollow um chain cuffs necklaces so it was kind of like that but it was like a chain in the back and then two swag chains in the front and you could like flip the chains around and wear it different wear different chains in front depending on how you flip the chains so i've always loved like i call them concept necklaces or concept pieces i don't know why i don't know what to call them it's just multi-functional multi-functional if you guys are like those two you should go look at my forever hrh also tag it below i love that piece it's so sick you can wear that piece like a lariat you can wear it like 10 other ways um as a necklace so it's like perfect for layering or just one that's easy to throw on and go i love pieces like that so i made another one this is called my, oh, I forgot what it's called. I'll link it below. I just like come up with names after I design them. So let me just show you how you, it basically how it comes. So it comes, it's like a lariat like this, obviously, but you don't have to buy the lariat. So this is a necklace and it's in like this really pretty glossy gold link, right? And then it has three like intricate links here. There's one, and then you can choose either emerald, ruby, or all diamond pave crystal. And then it has this lock with a single, um, like a bezel crystal here. Okay. So this is how you can buy it like this. And I love short necklaces. I'll show you another short necklace that I'm obsessed with because I'm typically wear like hoodies or I wear like high neck thing. So I love to have like an interest. This is 14 inches, just so you guys know too. So I just love to have something that's easy to wear that you can see. And it's just like, it's effortless, 
but it's really pretty too, okay? So that's that, that's how it comes. Then you can add on this lariat piece if you want, and it's not expensive, just so you know, to add the lariat. Um, or you can just buy it alone, you can buy this later, whatever you wanna do. So if you wanted a lariat, you just hooked it on there, okay? And then you can just drop it. It's so pretty, okay? So that's two ways. Then at the bottom, it comes with this like pave, little clasp so even when you're leaving it down like you have this really pretty pave clasp you can't see because the lighting is here um that just hangs it's like just so pretty okay so then you could also sweep it this way and then you can take the little and like leave the interest here right so you can see the lock and the emerald link and then you can attach this here like that so you can have like a double swag neck necklace and then i put it on wrong you can't see it it should be put on top but then you could see the um, pave clasp there and on this side you could still see all the interest of like i have like this pill shape kind of link um and then the emerald and then this has like over here it has the diamond or whatever the crystal see what i mean though i love it so this is i love this piece so much and I'm sure you guys can find other ways to wear it, to be honest, too. But those are like the three-way. It's called a three-way, multi-way gem link, I think it's called. So that's that. Really pretty. Okay, so then I'm just going to um, put like a little notice out here that I'm... So like the new thing is that every... Not everyone. The new thing like is that people... Well, it's not the new thing. Oh my God, new thing. Yeah, okay. People have been calling me fat basically since day, the first day of my life. It doesn't matter. Um, but I'm talking about here like on Instagram. So everyone calls me fat, like it is what it is. Yeah, I'm so fat. Okay. It's funny too. It's like all of these like woke body positivity little fucks, right? They're always the one calling me fat. Um, anyway, so what I want to say is this, like, it's okay to call me fat. Like I get it. I'm not the skinniest person in the world, but for me, I'm skinny. And I always tell you guys that, like, I'm not talking about anyone with my damn self. Like for me, I'm, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like I know my body. I'll never be like a model skinny. But when I tell you I'm skinny, it's because, yes, for me, bitch, I am fucking skinny. I look good. Like, that's how, that's it's the truth. I don't ever compare myself to other people because I can't be them. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. So I'm talking about me. I'm skinny. I'm skinny when I'm fat. I'm fat for me. I don't care about you. Like, if you want to be, like, fat or skinny, that's what you want to be. I don't give a fuck. Um, anyway, so it's when you start pushing your shit on me, and that's when I get mad at you, okay? Anyway. So this is the thing, I'm going to like clarify something and it's something that needs to be like talked about. And that is, um, there's a lot of like little, like literally rats, like rat looking people out there who come for me, who tell me that I'm fat and they're like, okay, the thing is this, there is such a, and I tweeted this, there is such a huge difference between like rich skinny and poor skinny. Okay. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. Okay, I'm going to go further into this, and I don't give two motherfucks if you're offended. If you're offended, you're a loser, and I don't give a shit, and you don't belong here. So, there's a big difference between, like, cute, poor, or sorry, cute, rich, skinny, and poor skinny, okay? If you're poor skinny, it's probably because, like, you come from bad stock, or it's like, you're just, you're malnourished as a child because you were poor, okay? And I don't care. Do you think I care about you or that you were malnourished because your family was poor? No, I don't care. Fuck you. You came for me, okay? So there's a big difference. And I'm going to tell you guys, and this is the thing. We don't, the sky is blue on this channel, you know what I mean? The sky is blue. So if you're offended, I don't give a shit. Okay. Like I could actually give two shits. If you're offended, you dumb fuck. Okay. Does that not, do you not answer your question? Okay. So I'm going to continue. Um, typically poor skinny people, they look it like you can tell they're poor. Okay. And you can tell they are like, are just like, they're just like poor. They probably come from like a poor area. Um, and I, this is the thing I, you guys know, I grew up like very middle class. So you can't be like, you're this or you're that. I don't give a fuck. If you think that I grew up as a fucking bajillionaire, you can think what I want. What I'm saying is true. Okay. The truth hurts, bitch. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. Typically they have very ugly teeth and it may not just be like, um, 
not straight teeth, but probably like yellow. The quality is bad. They're like janky in some way. And they have the nerve to come and call me fat. Okay, you're not skinny. It doesn't matter that you're skinny. You don't look good. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's not like that. And then when I tweeted this, people were like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like drug skinny is so cute. No, 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 no. You got it wrong. Listen, no. It's not about drug skinny. Like, drug skinny is not cute either. Okay, it's not. What's skinny? What's you can tell when someone has been malnourished and I don't care like or they just were from like bad gross stock you know what I mean just like not good stock okay and you can take that as as you want do you think I give a shit no I don't you start by coming on my page and starting with me so I will tell you the damn truth okay if you um if you were not taken care of as a child and you were malnourished you don't count as being skinny because you don't look cute okay you have an ugly face. You have ugly features, okay? Because it didn't develop. You come from bad genes. So it doesn't, you don't look cute. I don't care. You can't fix that, okay? You also, like, at that age, if you are not, like, 16, if you're 16 and you still have bad teeth, that's not good. We live in the 21st century, okay? You don't live in Africa or you don't live in like, I don't even know, South America. You live in the States. Like you actually have no excuse to, excuse to not take care of your teeth. Like it's just not excusable. It's like not wiping your ass. Do you not wipe your ass before you left? Why do you have crusty, nasty teeth? Like you're ugly, okay? That's the truth. Also, like, do you gonna come on my? It's like, that's it's the un, it's the people who are unaware. Sorry, I got a phone call. Okay, so like I was saying, and I'm not like this is a thing. You guys are gonna be like, oh my god, she's making fun of hard people. I can't. She's making fun of hard people. That's not it. Okay, that's not it. I'm telling you the truth. There is a very big difference between people who are malnourished, like were malnourished as children and now they're like whatever of age or like 21 or something, you still look like shit. Like you can tell that you're just like, ugh, like you don't look good. You know what I mean? Like, sorry, you don't. Whereas like the, the difference where there's like a skinny person who like diets or exercises, like they look healthy. Do you see what I mean? Like even people like, I don't even know, like there's celebrities who like, I don't even, I don't like celebrities. I'm just saying there are people too. You can tell they like, whatever, they may have like some like severe issues or something, but they weren't like malnourished as children. So they don't have that like look to them, like that gamey sick look with like nasty teeth. You know what I mean? Or like, like you can tell like their nose is like fucked up or something because they just didn't develop properly. So that's the thing. Like if you're going to come for me, I'm going to fucking lay it out. Don't come on my page ever again if you're a malnourished little shit, okay? Because that's not cute. You don't look cute. You don't get to talk on me on fat when you look like you were malnourished. Like, go take it up with your parents. Don't take it up with me. You know what I mean? You're angry because you're ugly. Like, that's the problem. Like, why are you here? So, that's the truth. I know you guys are not going to like that. Like, you're really not going to like the truth. But, like, that is the truth. There's a big difference. And I might expand on this more because, like, this is a very new kind of, like, philosophy that I just came up with where it's, like, the there's not, there's a, there is a big difference between skinny, like, ugly skin, or sorry, rich skinny and poor skinny. Do you see what I mean? Like, there, there really is. Okay. So, um, you know, and, like, I don't care. Like, if you're gonna, like, I just don't care. So, anyway, yeah, so that's that. And the next thing I wanna talk about is, um, the white, what was I gonna talk about? Okay, so I have a lot to talk about. But the next thing I talk about, that, that's like the one of like the, not major one, but I've been really wanting to like, get that off my chest because. And like I told you, this is my first time talking about this. I'll probably talk about it again. It takes me like a while to kind of like um, develop, a, a, develop a theory. You know what I mean? Like I'll talk about it a few times and it will, the, the theory will grow and will develop. We can discuss it. You're not allowed to ask questions, but do you see what I mean? Like I, I'm onto something. I'm really onto something. And it's true. Like it's, it's like, you, like, okay. Like a third world skinny is not pretty. You know what I mean? Third world skinny is 
deprivation. It doesn't look good. Like you don't look cute. You just look malnourished. You look, even if you're not that now, like you were malnourished as a child, you don't like, you didn't grow properly. You don't look good. So that's the truth. So don't, don't come on my page looking like that because I will call you out. I will call you out. Do you think I told you guys, I'm not the bigger person. I will not you think that I'm a punching bag. Like I said, you think I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to take your shit and I'm going to shut up. Wow. Did I come on your page? No, I would never. I'm not the kind of person to go on people's pages. I don't have the time, the will, the want. I won't do it. But you come in here, you you decide to get all offended by me as if I'm talking to you. It must have struck a chord. I don't know who the fuck you are, but get off of my page. Okay. So, um, anyway, the next thing I talk about is this. And I just need to get off of Instagram so badly because I hate it on there. Like, I just hate it. I have too many people that I follow just for cringe factor. Like, I... To be honest, I would like there's the only people I literally watch <laughs> on Instagram are cringe factor people for me. Are you guys like that too? Like I don't care about any people who don't cringe me out. Like I it's very entertaining for me, okay? So I just love it. But it also makes me mad. <laughs> so all right. Um I, there's a couple things on Instagram that I'm gonna talk about, but you guys will you guys will understand this, and this is gonna be like, oh my god, yeah, you're so right. Okay. Oh, why are you go why are people going to aspen right now like i'm starting to get like really angry okay so i really have a th weird thing about this whole aspen thing you know aspen's like so cool right everyone like loves aspen aspen's like the place to go there's like and i'm telling you right now the people i follow who go to aspen well not all of them and not all of them i'm only talking about a few they don't go for any other reason but to be like i'm bougie and i'm gonna go to aspen and i'm going to like go to restaurants and I'm going to say it like a really expensive hotel. Did you know that Aspen is for skiing? Did you know that you go to Aspen to ski? Like, why the fuck would you go to Aspen other than to ski? You are, I cannot stand this phoniness anymore. Like, I just cannot even do it. I seriously, I'm about ready to like completely do a 360. And like, I don't even know what it is. Like, like literally wear rags and like, I don't even know what, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be anything like these people. I would never inform and like literally move to the middle of like Wyoming and like never talk peace out. You know what I mean? Like that's what I feel like I'm going to do because I cannot stand this phoniness anymore. I cannot stand it. It's not like you're going somewhere like beautiful, right? Aspen is right now, it is freezing as cold as fuck and it's hard as fuck to get into. Like it's not an easy place to get to. It's not like a luxurious trip to get to. It's like hard. Like it's you got to take like a prop plane or you got to drive far like from from like the from like what is it from Den from Denver, right? Like I I've been there once with my family because my family does ski. You guys know like I ski. Um I'm a good skier. And that's another thing too. Like another thing about skiing like you, no, I'm not going to get into it. Maybe I will like later, next time. I just don't want to get in trouble. Okay. So like, I don't understand why these people, they're so gross. Like there's some like major huge bloggers, like millions of followers and stuff who go to Aspen and are literally just, and I'm not talking about just them. I'm talking about like normal people too. They're going to Aspen just to like go to the restaurants, like during the time, just to go there and like dress up in like, like cold clothes and go to expensive restaurants. It's like the absolute cringiest thing ever ever bitch okay yes ever um it's so dumb like they're ruining aspen instagram once again now is ruining aspen like i there's so many other but better places to ski like i wouldn't go to aspen because it's really it's a really very inconvenient to get in i don't like like every mountain's pretty inconvenient to get in but aspen especially is very hard to get into it's difficult it's like a d hard trip you know what i mean these people are flying in like just to like for the party scene of it and they're not even skiing they don't ski and they're going to aspen like i literally watch their stories and they're going out to like clubs and like fa fancy restaurants and everything and there's not one picture of them skiing not one video of them on the slope like it is the tackiest shit I have, it is the most phony shit I have ever seen in my life. I want to call this, there's one, there's one person who I really want to call out, but I don't, I'm just not going to, I don't call people out. I don't ever do that. You guys know that, but oh my God, she has taken it to the next level as far as like how cringy the whole Aspen thing is like, oh my damn God. Like I cannot, like I seriously, I just want so badly what I want to do. I want to make a fake page and I want to do a video with like my 
voice totally like covered so you don't know who it is and do a video reaming them reaming these people because it is the worst thing that you go all the way to aspen for no other reason just freeze your fucking asshole off to 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 be like i'm in aspen you know what i mean like it's so bad i can't even explain like okay it's like as bad as i don't even know i, I don't even know what what is bad like I, i'm not even going to on a surf trip to lay on the beach like no that's fine laying up people like to go lay on the beach like what uh, what is it like how like wh how i'm trying to think of another thing where it's just as bad um i'm gonna think of one i don't know i'm gonna take, i want to change my necklace this is my like my this is my necklace i'm wearing every single day besides this one this one i wore with the blazer the other day to dinner okay i'm trying to think but do you guys are you guys know you guys are you guys totally feel me the same way this is not cheap either like going to aspen is not cheap like that it, it is First of all, skiing is so expensive, right? Skiing is a very, very expensive, like, thing to do. Not to mention how expensive it is once you get there. Like, it, it's really expensive. It's just an expensive thing to do. So these people are just such, so tryhards. I can't even do it. Like, I just can't even stand these fucking people. I hate the internet so much. I hate the fucking internet. I hate the phoniness of it. It's so disgusting. Okay. This is my mixed M I X T E, my mixed um, what's it called necklace, and I love it so much because it has a little tiny bit. Let me show you. It has a little tiny bit of mixed metal. Um, so there's some silver. It's all glossy, and then this really cool like silver hardware piece with two big um crystals, and the rest of it is gold. So and a lot of mixed metal is like really in and so silver is like really in right now so i want to be able to mix my things but it has to be done right you know what i mean and this is a really easy way and look how cool that is to like mix your stuff it's so shiny it's just like in the wrong place because i'm in like the light but um so i told you i wear like high necks and i wear hoodies a lot this is the wrong length it should be like that i wear hoodies a lot so it's just like cool you know what i mean like that I love this piece so much. And then, then, and then because this is already like a little bit of mixed metal, you can easily mix metals with this now. Okay. So let me go on. I already did the Aspen thing. I could go on the Aspen thing forever. Like I've like talked, I've clued my husband in on it about it. Like he's like, not like a, he's not like a shit talker at all. Like I'm the shit talker. I love to talk shit. Like I just love it. Like I love the cringe factor of stuff. Yes, I do. Oh, you don't like to talk shit. Oh, you don't like to talk shit. Like shut the fuck up. So many people like they're so holier than thou. You know what I mean? Like get the fuck out of my damn face, fucking liar. Okay. So I just love to talk shit, but he's not like he doesn't like talk shit well, like really, which is fine. Like whatever. I'm just like, um. So he, but I told him about this, and he's like, he's like, oh my god. Like there's certain things that like yeah, like guys don't like. That's why I love men. Like I, you guys, did I tell you guys about that? I don't have like girlfriends. Like you guys know I have. Well, I do, but not really. Uh. I like guy friends more. Like you guys know, I have my, my friend Ron. I always get along with guys more. Like I don't like girls. Like that's why like, I literally am trans gay. Like I, I get along with like gays so much more. Like the right gays, not like the rats out there. You know what I mean? Like I just do. Like I just can like relate so much more. Like they're not that like, girls are like a different breed. Women just are terrible. You know what I mean? They're so fake. They're like so much drama. Like they're not easy to hang out with. I'm the kind of person, like if I meet you, and I have like, if I, if I meet you, I'm like going to divulge. Like, that's just what I do. I don't like hold back. I don't have anything to hide. I'm an open book. And like I, women just like a lot of women don't. And they just like hold, like, like they, I don't know. I'm just like, I cannot hang with them. I hate them. So, you know what I mean? Like not all of them, but most. Okay. So the next thing I'll talk about, um, is i just want i really want this aspen thing has really like got me like it's really just too much for me like i just really it really infuriates me how much how disgusting it is and like when i go skiing somewhere i'm exhausted the other day like it's hard like skiing is not easy like it's like it's exhausting like people like then afterwards they're like going out to fancy dinners and clubs and stuff like it's just so fake i can't do it it's just they're not even skiing they're just going there i can't okay so um next thing i talk about is another thing that the little people the little woke people who are offended by everything who have species in their assholes are going to be so offended by this and i don't care once again okay so this is the thing pedestrians are rude yes they are pedestrians are very rude and discourteous okay um don't even come for me you little shit 
You know everyone in Orange County, look at the light. Everyone in Orange County and LA has a motherfucking car. I'm not talking about the poor little man or woman. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not asking, sorry, I just got a text. I'm not asking, or I'm not saying, like, I'm not referring to, like, the poor old lady crossing the street. So shut your fucking mouth, you little shit stirring cunt, okay? Anyway, um, I'm talking about a pedestrian. Why are you walking? That's what I'd like to know. I'm sorry, this is California. No one fucking walks. We don't live in a walking area. You are just being, like, you're being obnoxious. This is the thing. Pedestrians, in order to cross a street, you have to stop four ways, okay? You have to stop a signal of people going for, like, for traveling four ways. Look at my hair, okay? It's literally hot orange. I don't want to talk about that. I need to get... Whatever. I'm sure a lot of you guys won't get it. Like, you just don't get it because you're just aimless anyway. Like, a lot of people out there who wouldn't even get that. Like, you got to, I know, like, 99% of you guys out there are probably like, what are you talking about? Do you guys not understand, like, that everything doesn't revolve around, around you? Do you see what I mean? And people who push that pedestrian walk are not thinking about this 100, 100 or plus cars waiting for them to walk across the damn street. Okay? Like, you just don't get it. I don't know how you don't get it, but I, like, I, if, at me as a pedestrian, I just like, to be honest, I'd probably risk my life jaywalking <laughs> before I push that pedestrian crossing like l number or whatever, whatever button, because I don't want to hold up way more people than just me. I'm a very courteous person. That's the problem with today's society. Everyone nowadays is very, they have no self-awareness, absolutely none. It's all about them. They don't think about anyone else. Do you, do you not see what I damn mean? You just don't. I'm going to show you guys some other necklaces. These are really cool. They're, you got, they're really, really popular. You guys are loving them. Um, and I want to show you them up close. Okay. They're really, really gorgeous. So, um, let me just show you them like this. So this one is the, um, do prayer. Okay. So like it's spelled do D E U X like French too. And, um, I'll show you like this. Okay. So this one, let me show it to you. And I, I use this like really nice, rich gold tone on these. So it gives it more of a vintage feel. So let me show you, um, I, there's a green and emerald and there's a, um, a ruby pink. I'll show you the pink. Um, this one comes, you can choose both charms or you can choose one charm and the charms are really cool. So here's what the charms look like. There's like a lock and it has like all these little stones on it. Or there's this prayer hands one and it's like a really beautiful thick disc and it's very vintagey looking. Um, so you can choose with one or with two. And by the way, everything, my site is still free shipping right now and the stocking stuffers are still up until the end of January and then they're going to be um, sorted with. You guys know how that works. So don't miss out if you wanted any more stocking stuffers. This is like the end of the month. They'll be, they'll be gone. So that's that one. And then this is my icon. Um, I forget my icon charm necklace, I think it's called. I'll put the link. And there's two different designs, okay? There's two, well, there's only, you, you get three charms on each one. Um, and the difference is between these two pendants. I love them. They're like these, um, they look like they're hand drawn, like really pretty icons, like vintage looking icons. This is the baby angel and this is the holy mother. So the Holy Mother is the most popular right now. The baby angel is so cute. They each come with um, three different charms on them, like pendants. Sorry, I have, like a hair on my fucking nose. So they each come with three pendants. Um, and it looks like a like a charm necklace that you've just created over the years. It looks like, you know how like really cool, like 70s looking charm necklaces, where they just put a bunch of really cool charms that like meant something to them or like spoke to them. Um, and they created like a cool layering effect, right? I love this though, because it's like this vintage -y icon piece. And then you have these two modern, big crystal-y like hardware pieces too. That they all kind of just like hang perfectly. And it just looks like something you've been collecting over the years. It's just really done well. I love it. Um, and that's, it looks hand painted so pretty with the crown on the mom, on the mother. Okay. So there's that. So cute. Okay, those are like my new favorite charm necklaces. You guys love the charm necklaces. 
and these are all like really cool vintage vibe I also have this which I love too it's like the nugget gold nugget flash necklace um it's so pretty it's like a really thick really cool like 70s style ch um chain I love it it looks really good paired with those too I have a lot of stuff. I have like way too many things, but these are just like the highlights. So go check them out and remember that everything is free shipping still. And then all of my um, stocking stuffers are still stocking stuffer price. I bought a couple days ago that I really like. Okay, I bought this. I bought... I don't know what I look like right now, whatever. That's the thing with the um, beachy, this like beachy waves non be, like real beachy waves is that because like I didn't heat there's no heat on it or whatever it kind of just like it's sticky or something I think because like I don't know it's I think when I when I dry my hair with like a blow dryer or whatever it smooths everything out and like seals in the product or something I don't know so like when I don't then like I can kind of almost feel like the conditioner and like shampoo still or something I don't know I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I got this. I think it's so cute. It's a scrunchie. Hello Kitty scrunchie. So I got that. I love it so much. Oh my God. I love it. Okay. I also got this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just, I thought, saw it and I was like, no, put it back. And I bought it anyway. It's like a little notebook of like zippy pouches. And then like there's tabs. <laughs> so dumb, right? Like, I don't know what to do with it. Nothing fits because I always are I use my packaging like I use this you know what I mean um but the, like the little like the whatever the package said on it like to put like q-tips and like bobby pins and stuff so I never use it it's just I hate buying shit like that that I'll not use okay then I bought this which I really won't fucking use I guess I can use it as like a parter like a hair like a comb whatever I need to stop I don't know why I just love you guys know how I feel I love Hello Kitty okay so I bought this. It's little twin stars. And it's like the, um, I'm really picky about the characters. So the new characters are disgusting pretty much. Like anything new, any of like the new stuff and like how they kind of make, well, not all of it, but most of it is gross. Like the best stuff is like the 80s and 90s stuff. You know what I mean? Like the 70s, 80s and 90s. I think it came out in the 70s. Um, yeah, 76. So like this is like the original looking twin star so I just had to get it because like I just like this is, looks like something that I really had literally when I was like five so I just like it and I think I, I could actually just use it like it does work so maybe I just I don't know this one wasn't the worst buy but um then I got this too and I like this so I think that's it there was one more story I wanted to tell you but I don't know maybe I will and I'll see if I'll leave it in okay so I just, the thing is that a lot of the people I talk about are kind of, I f kind of feel like I just don't want to like, I don't want to like, I'm going to put on a necklace just to show you guys. I don't want to run into them. I just don't. This one is pretty too. Okay. Um, this is also new. I'm not going to talk about it. You can just go find it. It's also one of those ones you can wear in multi multiple ways. And this is real pearls. Okay. So, um, I... doesn't go with what I'm wearing at all um okay so I like almost like feel like I'm gonna get caught talking about these people or like just who people are talking about like even though I'll never admit it <laughs> you know what I mean um anyway so there's other people I watch on insta and I just can't even believe it you guys might know who I'm talking about it doesn't matter I don't think these are bad people or anything I just don't get it so obviously they have a fuck ton of money. This isn't someone, someone else. And I just don't understand. Like, I just don't get it. 